folks, it's good to be with you today. Love to everybody out there. Uh, we're in Speaker's Corner today. There's lots of people here today. And uh, there's people all over the place in the park. And I just want to talk about the Book of Acts. Uh, in the Book of Acts, people say that the, the Book of Acts is not historically reliable. So I just want to talk about that just for a second. The Book of Acts is historically reliable. Timothy McGrew says this, Here are some of the details that Luke gets right in Acts that cannot be derived from Josephus. Most of these can be found in Colin Hamer's magisterial work, The Book of Acts in the Setting of Hellenistic History. And uh, Colin Hamer tells us about 60, at least 60 historical facts in the Book of Acts. But I'll just give you a few. Number one, a natural crossing between correct the name ports in Acts chapter 13, verse 4 and 5. Mount Cassius, which is south of Seleucia, is within sight of Cyprus. Number two, the proper port of Perga, along the direct destination of a ship crossing from Cyprus, chapter 13, verse 13. Number three, the proper location of Iconium in per Phygeria, rather than in Lyconia, chapter 14, verse 6. This identi identification was doubted because it challenges some sources reflecting boundary changes from different dates. But the ethnic inclusion, the ethnic inclusion of Iconium in Phygeria is confirmed by the geographical distribution of neo phygeria text and onomastic study. Number four, the highly unusual but correct heterolic declension of the name Lystria, chapter 4, verse 6. This is paralleled in Latin documents. Chapter 5, uh, verse number 5, the, the Laconian language spoken in Lysteria, chapter 14, verse 11. This was unusual in the cosmopolitan Hellenized society in which Paul moved. But the preservation of the local language is attested by a gloss in the Stephanus of Bi Byzantium who explains that Derb is a local word for juniper. Herma lists many other native names in the Lysteria district. So you can read the Book of Acts in the setting of a Hellenistic history by Colin Hermer. You can read Colin Hermer, the Book of Acts, in the setting of Hellenistic history, or Timothy Grew on the historical accuracy of the Book of Acts in crossexamine.org. The Book of Acts is a historical book and it, it confirms history, where the Quran is not a historical book. It cannot confirm history because it gets historical facts wrong, which we're going to look at in a minute. God bless you. So they're not free to